Hello everybody and welcome back to Sprocket. My name is Will and today we're going to be creating like a limited traverse turreted tank destroyer in the hull kind of thing. Uh, there's a couple of these I think in World of Tanks. I can't name any real life examples to be honest. I don't think it's a very practical uh, real life application. Um, don't think many people would have done it even if it was a little bit more practical but regardless it's quite fun to make I think they look quite fun and I don't think this is the best ever implementation of one uh, but it comes out all right so you'll have to bear with me here um, now I will just chill for a second and I will just uh, state again I am now on patreon if you do want to support me a link will uh, actually be in the description this time there wasn't one last time uh, oopsie doopsie it is now retroactively there but I forgot it when it went up um, but yep yeah, most of you don't want to hear about that so we'll go back to the tank so uh, what we're building here is the engine da DAC uh, no not a digital audio converter uh, the deck um, and it's essentially well, now we're on the turret. I've spent so long talking about this. But essentially, the idea is that the engine deck is kind of as high as the turret. So the profile of the tank is kind of kept low while having a lot of engine to go with quite a lot of gun at the front. Uh, so we've got this massive round turret, which we can fit a massive gun into. And then this huge engine deck where we've got enough space for loads of fuel and a really, really powerful engine at the back. So it, it kind of feels like a bit of the best of both worlds, but then with the obvious downside being, um, you know, practically no way that you could turn the turret more than like say 90 degrees um which isn't great it almost removes the purpose of having a turret at all another downside is this turret is round and perfectly like you know flat uh, essentially so any angle that the enemy shoots at us they have a flat angle essentially uh, no matter where they're from uh, it might not be the case from the back but that's not going to have much armor at all on it it's a tank destroyer uh, so well you'll see that that comes back to bite me uh, later in this video but uh, i think you get the gist the, the, of the problems we're going to be encountering throughout this video which are plentiful uh, but yeah I don't think this thing looks awful, especially from the back. Um, I think I did a decent job with it. I don't know about the front. Not completely sold on it. Um, however, I think this is a fun little experiment of a tank, which definitely gives me some ideas for things I can do in the future. Uh, and it's a little bit of a departure from the kind of comfort zone I have, which tends to be more like interwar designing. This definitely feels more like a mid-war experiment than like an interwar experiment. Um, but oh, we're starting here in interwar just because we may as well may as well take on the entire game, and that way we can uh, we can say we did it, uh, <laughs> with the exception of no tanks land. But um, oh, that level is um, yeah, that that level's a lot. Um, <laughs> it's not always the most fun to play, to be honest. But uh, yeah. That's why I don't normally include it. Uh, regardless, uh, this wow, this feels like it went quickly. But yeah, the tank is uh, pretty much done. So let's uh, jump into the gameplay then. So here we have the uh, Mark 178. These numbers are getting pretty high now. Uh, now, if you just look at the tank from this kind of angle, this is kind of the vibe I wanted. Uh, the front, uh, I'm not very happy with, to be entirely honest. I really didn't know what to do. Um, so I've, I've, I've done this. It's kind of generic and kind of boring, but but it's there. Uh, however, okay, we'll run through some stats. We have a 122 millimeter gun, so pretty big, uh, but it is a bit of a howitzer. Um, not a not a long shell, uh, mostly because well, they're vertical at the back of the turret, um, so fitting anything bigger would be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, we might be able to get away with it if we put it in the hull because we do have loads of space left in this thing. It has a uh, blooming lot of armor it's got a lot it's got a lot of armor frontally um not enough to guarantee survival in this stage but that's because you can't make any thicker armor uh and the angles are awful because the turret is round uh if you think about it 
any which way we turn this tank, we're always going to have a flat face facing the enemy, which is a downside of the circular turret. Uh, and we only have uh, 100 degrees either which way to turn the turret, um, as we only have limited traverse, as the engine deck, obviously, is mahoosive. Uh, on the flip side, the engine is pretty big. Um, it could be bigger and more powerful, uh, but I didn't want to just give it the world's biggest engine, because then we'd be revving to, like, 500, and that can't be good for the engine. Anyway, uh, s hopefully we should do all right here. We've kind of got all of the bits and pieces you'd need for a good tank, and oh, look at that. It's Bennett's. It's Bennett's. We're going to be fine. Uh, I, I, yeah. I mean, I don't particularly fear the Bennett. I've seen it is getting a rework. Um, there have been some screenshots of this thing with a Panzer II uh, mantler on it in the uh, and leaf spring suspension in the um, official Discord from uh, Mr. Dunn himself. Uh, oh, hello. Now I can't guarantee that I'll survive if he gets behind me, so I will. I will just stop that. Um, can I aim the turret down? Yep. Uh, yeah, not gonna survive an APHE 122mm shell directly to the turret, are you? And then there's another one there. Yeah, uh, fair enough, I guess. That was, um, maybe not the toughest tank we could have fought here. Maybe we'll get something a little bit harder in the dunes, let's, uh, find out. <laughs> I think we've got more Bennets, to be honest. And, uh, well, yeah, clearly these these Bennets didn't learn their lesson from the first time we fought them. Let's reload the APHE, and I, we have mad gun depression. I don't really know how it's worked out we have mad gun depression, uh, because I don't think we would have that much, given the size of the breach that would be needed uh, for this 122mm gun, but we'll, uh, we'll not question it, because... Who am I to look a gift horse in the mouth? We have something like 15 degrees of depression. That's a friendly tank. How did I even make that mistake? There goes my turret. Uh, given that this thing doesn't look exactly similar to a Bennett, should we say. Um, and how did he survive that? I mean, it was an AP. It wasn't the best aimed, but I thought he would just detonate. Ah, oh, okay. Well, I'll waste another shot on him. Why not? Uh, we've got... Two Bennets over this away, and the Allen's going to shoot me in the back. Uh-oh. Uh, we'll just keep moving and hope we can get into a June before he shoots us, uh, which we have not done. Uh, we're going to need to fight that Allen, aren't we? Hopefully we don't get ambushed by that surviving Bennett. Is it even one of those two? I don't think it is. It might just be the one that's run to the edge of the map, which we always seem to get. Uh... I mean, that's never going to work, is it? But he's not looking this way, so I can kind of duck into this dune here. Hello, friend. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Just um, going to stay <laughs> hidden here. Uh, oh, is he coming to me? I'm not going to complain if he wants to. We do have a very low profile. Um, for the size of gun we have because of uh, the way that this thing is designed with the engine being so high. Which means we can just sneak alongside and um, bounce. Yeah. That was uh, what I meant to do, actually. Is, is bounce off his uh, side armor like nothing even happened. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Not the best at going around an enemy tank when you only have uh, limited turret traverse. But that's fine. We've dealt with him. Uh, and now we've just got to find the last Bennett. Who could be... Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's always one. Mm. Ooh. Eh. Oh! 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 <laughs> Across the border, they say. Will do. We've got our little lights on the front. I've forgotten to turn these lights on for, for many missions now. Probably because they don't serve much of a purpose and I'm going to turn them off again. But, uh, yeah, uh, they exist. Right. Uh, Anti-tank guns in the forest. One of our tanks has died to a tree, as we have determined. The most deadly enemy tank in Sprocket is the tree. Yeah. Um, 
I don't really know why I have so many problems with trees in this game, but uh, maybe maybe that's something I should take into account in future tank builds, you know? Oh, wow, my ally's actually shooting him. Uh, he's shooting a me. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, we could have, uh, like, doubled our armor, um, and I just forgot to touch it at all, so uh, we've doubled our armor. Uh <laughs> <laughs> and um, now the armor also extends more onto the sides of the tank. It doesn't cover the whole engine deck with the full thickness, uh, even though we totally could with the amount of internal space we have. But uh, we've got to have a weakness, otherwise the video is bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Hopefully this time, though, we won't immediately get deleted by the anti-tank guns. Uh, also, our turret traverse is better because I could have put more torque on the drive, and we've done that as well. Uh, however, is it going to be enough to save my friend or me? Uh, maybe. Yes, it was. Okay, fantastic. Um, as for the other two anti-tank guns, is there any hope that I see them? Maybe. Yep, there goes one. Uh, the other one will probably kill me any moment now. Uh, either that or I'll see him over there and deal with him before he can. Uh, the Allen is opening fire on my friend who just drove straight through these tank traps without a care in the world. Uh, and they are now trading shots, which neither of them will probably ever penetrate one another. Uh, so I'm going to get in on this. And uh... Okay, the Allen did penetrate eventually. However, I am now behind him and, and like if you're an ally this is just not something you want to see really uh, I think my uh, scope was in the side of my tank there is that, a, is that a thing? oh yeah that's a bit of a design flaw oopy doopy oh well <laughs> okay so we got three of these things uh, to take on probably two mana wars and then five other things uh, whatever they are so, I'm fairly confident we should be okay. Um, the armor should be thick enough to pretty much bounce anything that wants to go through. Uh, very heavily armored from the front, this thing. But uh, obviously, if they get behind us, we're going to be in trouble. Um, by virtue of the design, I would I would go as far as to say. But uh, yeah, we should be more than okay with this thing. It's pretty potent. Uh, my aim, however, is uh, we're on one of the bad days today. Yeah, thank you, allies, for carrying me. I, uh, I'm incompetent. That is a man of war. Doubt we'll go through the front like that. Oh, we might actually. We're not far off. Um, maybe another shot, and I'll get lucky. Okay, I didn't get lucky. My ally did. Oh, they got lucky though. Right through the front. That's interesting. I did not expect that. It was a man of war that got me. So I guess they do have pretty good penetration, but. Uh, Still, not exactly what I expected. Um, we are really glitching out on these rocks here. That's, uh, yeah, causing me some um, distress. If you could stop shooting me, Man of War, that would be fantastic. He doesn't fancy that. Uh, let's see if I can... Mm, got his engine. Uh, he's not going to be moving anymore, and maybe the fire will burn him out. Uh, this guy... Oh, dear. He's survived. Um, please don't have enough penetration to go through. I don't think you do. Um, or just... Can you... Can you die when I shoot you? That'd be nice, you know? <laughs> Come on. Surely. Okay, yeah, he's dead. He's He's definitely dead. Okay, uh, I give in trying to armor it because, I mean, we've literally got the maximum thickness. They just must be able to punch through it. I think it is only 90 millimeters, so I shouldn't really be surprised by that, especially with the uh, aforementioned turret never being good at angling. Um, so instead, we've moved our ammo storage into the hull, and we've got a much beefier gun. Uh, so... Uh. <laughs> yeah, we've got a much beefier gun, I say, and then fail to penetrate a 
Kromthilde from the front, which is not a particularly thickly armored tank. I didn't fail to penetrate, it just didn't kill him. Uh, APHE should be more than enough to go through these guys now, because we have something like 150 millimeters of penetration, which is frankly excessive. Uh, so, you know, fun times with uh, explosions and all that. It's going better. Yeah, definitely. Uh, already going a little bit better than last time. These aren't even Cromtildas, sorry. These are just normal Cromwells. I uh, feel like I will have fought them before, but I don't particularly remember them. Oh, well. Um, there's one more somewhere. Could be a Man of War or just another Crom Cromwell. Who knows? It is... Neither of the above. It is a... Th oh, no. Is that a Man of War? I think that's a Man of War. It's just got a different camo scheme. Yep. <laughs> okay. So, we should be quicker. We have better armor. And we have a much bigger 122mm gun. Which looks a lot more Russian. Uh, frankly, if it's a King Tiger down there, it's not. Uh, well, if it was a King Tiger, they should have feared us. If it's an IS-122, mm, they should probably still fear us, but not quite as much. Uh, um, I am still a little bit scared that that thing may just delete me instantly, but, um... We got a bit of penetration. It's not the craziest amount of penetration ever, um... Because I still need to find a place to put the ammo, but enough to do that. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, uh, we will see more of this version of the tank in this level. Um, this time, yeah, the, the level will last a little bit longer than the last one, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, all of the ammo is still in the hull, so the reload rate isn't the best, but given that it's a 122, honestly, eight seconds of reload isn't that bad. Uh, that's really not too bad at all. Um, so, honestly, for a 122, that's pretty much a machine gun. Um, and we got loads of armor, and we're pretty mobile. There's not many problems with this tank, really. Uh, it's quite good. It, it's quite strong. Flanking would be a problem, uh, so maybe we will struggle with these light tanks, but with our mobility, I feel like we're just going to be able to reverse away from them uh, quickly enough that we can just delete them before they become a problem. Uh, so, I'm not too worried, to be honest. I think we're going to be okay here. I'm worried about that, my aim. Uh, that's always going to be a, a concern when it comes to my builds. Uh, I can't fix that, sadly. That's just always going to be like that. Um, he was sadly not one of my... Uh, Less, uh, well, yeah, I, I didn't miss on that one, let's just say. Uh, or that one, actually. I've got two of them charging me down now to try that reversing test. Uh, because that, that, that's about now that we're gonna need that, really. Uh, yep, it works. Okay. <laughs> yep, that, that's, a, that's a pretty scientific test of what I just mentioned a minute ago about being able to reverse away from light tanks pretty quickly. Yes. Uh, is the answer. Hello, friend. I'd, I'd like to just nip by. Thank you. Um, also, if it's tigers, we should be able to go through the front. If it's panthers, it'd be fine to go through the turret at the very least. Might not go through the hull. It's tigers anyway. We don't even need to worry about the hull. Pretty much anywhere on the front of the tiger we're probably going to go through. I think we got 180 millimeters of penetration, which is more than enough for a tiger. This kind of a range... I was going to say, I don't know if I can hit, but clearly they can hit me. Okay. Uh, not surprised they have enough penetration to go through. I don't like that. That's not a good sign. Um, they're a very long way away, and I'm not hugely confident in my aim, to be honest. Uh, I can give it a shot, but yeah. Like, that's a long, long way. Um, and at that kind of a distance, I feel like the computer has an advantage. Oh, I did get one. Oh, if these AI didn't keep driving me into a position where I can't get any kind of hold down. 
the lack of angling on this turret, it's it's a it's a bit of a killer. I will level with you. I can't really make the armor any thicker. And uh, if they hit, they're pretty much going to kill me. Um, which isn't ideal. Maybe it's time I just retreat into a little cubby hole because it's, uh, it's 1v4. Oh, yeah. That was a, that was a, that was a shot. I'm happy with that, actually. <laughs> that whole thing I said at the start about this tank being good has kind of not aged well, has it? Let's, let's level with ourselves here. It's, uh, it's not doing great at the moment. I'm just waiting for these tigers to be brave and push up, but I don't know if they will. I reckon they can kill me very quickly if I poke up. Not if they miss. Not if I bounce. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Come on. Yeah, there's one. The gun just keeps depressing so much when I go over this hill. That's the dead one, right? Is it not? Well, that's the one I just killed. I think it is. Where's the others? I mean, I can see the one super, super far away. Okay, that's the map border. There's one there, I think. Uh, can I just arc a shot over this hill? And not hit the angled section of his hull. One miles away still. Oh, come on. No! <laughs> Oh! Well, we'll do the first bit again with the light tanks. I, that, that went well. Uh, and then maybe I'll just cut away and we'll pretend like that was the whole mission. Because uh, <laughs> we can do this bit, right? Not if, not if I aim like that. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing. What is... What is going on? I just... You know, sometimes I really wonder. <laughs> Sprockets, everyone. Uh, it's a game, trademark. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love this game. I couldn't ask for the AI to be any other way. It wouldn't be the same otherwise. Brilliant. What have we got? Poigas again. Uh, there. That is the correct range, roughly. This is a bit further. Maybe something like... Uh, it's a bit closer now. Maybe that? Oh, a bit high. And a little bit left. I go a little bit lower and slightly to the right. He is moving as well. Go about that. Yep, that's paid off. Um, okay, right. Maybe the welded panels have helped us there. Oh, it hit the welded panel. That may have been what saved us. Let's get in this little valley. Because um, uh, I am without vision on the tiger, should we say, and I would quite like to know where I'm shooting. That's probably the one that shot me. Uh, about there? Oh, we hit him. It hit the turret roof, though. Just a tiny little adjustment. Uh, something like there. Oh, yeah. I am actually an aiming god. Forget all the terrible shots I've made this video. I am the best at aiming. Go on. 
Okay, so we've made the upgrades that I would naturally assume, so bigger engine that we can now get. Uh, it's got the same gun as last time because I don't think that was a problem, but we also have thicker armor pretty much everywhere. I've also armored up the sides, which I've not done in a while, uh, just so that we can angle a little bit more effectively. Hopefully, this should be a much better tank. Uh, it's you know, what we had before, but but better in almost every single respect. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's definitely going to be a better tank. Is it going to be a good enough tank? Time will tell. Let's take out... Okay, let's uh, bounce off a spatter, I guess. A um, little bit concerned about that Tiger 2. Not the correct tank to be concerned about, clearly. Uh... Yeah, everything about this situation is bad right now. Uh, I have just got tanks all around me. I can't see. Uh, oh, God. What happened there? Did I hit a tree? I must have. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. That's him dealt with. Come on. Let's get you moving. Let's get you moving. We can't afford to be sitting around here. That's going to be a nice uh, shot on a king tiger. There's a spatter there. They can go through my front. He's with the shot. Can I get another one off before he fires? Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. Calm down. We are temporarily okay. There is something over that away, I think think. Um, oh god. There's a king tiger. That's unfortunate. They do take a long time to raise that gun. Like a very, very long time. He's not even raising it, I think, because the tank is spinning. Uh, maybe that was actually a bad idea to shoot his transmission there, because now he will actually raise that gun. Um... Oh, I'm loading APHE. That would explain why uh, we've been killing them so explosively and why I can't penetrate this king tiger. We should go through this front plate. Yeah. Okay, there we go. That was the problem. Uh, there's another one there. Same thing, I guess. <clears throat> I said same thing. I guess. Uh. <laughs> Please blow up. Yeah, okay, there we go. Left side of the turret is clearly the one to go for. Uh, also, you know, on the odd chance that Hamish is watching this, uh, King Tiger needs an update. Uh, can't raise its gun. This is making this mission a little bit easy. Uh, unfortunately. But, yeah, I mean, um... I'll take it. <laughs> and finally, we get to a mission where our tank is suitable. Um, for the first time in this game, we have a defensive mission with a tank which is quite clearly meant for defense. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's done pretty well. We've had some issues, definitely. Uh, thickness of armor completely flat from all angles um so just the the physical stats of the era have been my limitations could have angled the turret but you know it's the design it's, it's destined to be flat we made it work anyway you know it's it's fine uh okay those have Quite a bit of armor. Let's see if I can focus on this guy to my left for now. Uh, that's not a good sign. Um, where did that land exactly? Ugh, come on. I think we hit him. I think we took out his... Hi! 
How's it going, friend? Ow! Don't turn that way, tank. That's not the way I'm telling you to turn. Don't... Oh, why? <laughs> Come on. It's, uh... Oh, my God. I, I'm really struggling to control it. It's, uh... I'm holding A and it's turning right, you know, like it's, the tank thinks it's going backwards because it's rolling one knot, one mile an hour backwards. Okay, 90 millimeter gun this time with about half the reload time uh, because I, I mean, I just can't rely on these AI. They're just not, they're not, they're not killing. I'd love to, um, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to do the work myself. Apparently, uh, not really sure why they've AI's not been that bad for the rest of the game, or maybe it has, and I've just not been paying enough attention. Uh, righty, oh, the 90 mil, plenty of penetration. His engine is dead, so let's switch target. That's it took out some kind of mobility, I think. Um, Maybe it's track. I don't know. Either way, he's gone. That's a track. They're very good at killing them once I take out their mobility. Uh, I am really going to have to turn around in a second. I'd like to get this Centurion down with this next shot. Okay. The mobility of him is gone. Let us switch our focus to the other side here. Uh, because, yeah, no one else is over here. Um, there we go. That's the salamander gone. Are both the remaining enemies over that side? I think they are. So let's uh, get ourselves turned around again. Now that centurion is killing everyone. I think he's dead now. Um, and is that the last enemy over there? No, that is a turret separate to a tank. Hmm. I wonder where they are. I found them. They never left their spawn. Uh, which is helpful, I guess. They're not going to cross the border if they just sit still uh, over there. So, I'll take that. It's 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 definitely a, a positive. <laughs> hmm. Uh oh, that's a centurion. Um, now he can definitely kill me. Oh, I can definitely kill him. All right, cool, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect as many troubles as I had from this tank. To be honest, I thought we'd do a little bit better. Um, but yeah, flat armor, not good. Don't don't have flat armor on your tanks, lads. Uh, work out a way of designing one of these where it's not flat, I guess. Um, yeah. Okay, right. We'll leave this here. I've, I've got ideas brewing. This tank has um, at least given me plans for the future. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Just a quick reminder, I am now on Patreon. Uh, and thank you so much to the generosity of those who I will mention in a second who have already donated to the channel. It is really helpful in these current times. Um, I obviously understand that everybody is struggling and hopefully soon I won't be in the situation I'm in and I can, uh, you know, rely less on uh, my income from YouTube. But yeah, thank you so much. Uh, for doing that and for watching the channel and hitting the like button. Uh, I am eternally in your debt. <laughs> I will see you in the future. Goodbye. And a huge thank you to my patrons, Harrison Parker, DJ Pete, Yoki003, Caligo Drake, and Rustos Bokken. Hopefully that's a better pronunciation than last time. Uh, you guys are saints. Thank you so much.